So I figured it was time I got off my butt and finally made this vlog about who exactly this special little boy is on my hat. Stay tuned. So I figured I would start this, hopefully, that we have better luck this year. So today is, actually, I don't know, it's Sunday, the 24th, it's March, and, um, and we actually have a barrel race today, which you'll see earlier in a vlog, but today is some somewhat exciting news, is that Boo officially has come into her first season. Now, if anyone followed my journey last year, it was very upsetting, um, we tried for a baby with Boo last year out of a junior stallion in Virginia, but we didn't have any luck. I'm struggling. Um, we bred her twice. First time, the timing wasn't ideal. We didn't have any luck. The second time, everything was perfect. Still no luck. So um, I was honestly debating to even try again this year, but I decided that we will. So I will give you a recap of who she's getting bred to this year at a different time. Um, not exactly sure yet, but today is the start of this whole crazy convoluted journey again. Um, hopefully with much better success this year, but now that she has officially come into her first season, if you guys remember from last year, we have to cycle her up with a recent mare, which thankfully I found one that I can do a care lease on from an amazing fellow barrel racer in Virginia. Um, that she's letting me do a care lease on one of her recent mares that gave birth to her horses full last year. So, probably once I get that horse and introduce her, I'll give a little bit more in information on what's going on with Boo. But, I just wanted to kind of make these vlogs as things happen, so I can put them all together eventually. That today is officially the start of this year's chaotic try. Um, so, that's, the, that's exciting. And... We will see how this goes, but I'll see you guys later today, hence also in a different vlog, of this little girl going to a barrel race today. So I have to go get ready for that. It's later this afternoon because the rain we had yesterday. I have to get her ready because she's disgusting. So we will go do that today, but here's the official start of breeding season of 2024. So today's vlog is a little different. We are on the road again, but today we're actually going to go get another horse because we're crazy. But um. No, today we're getting Boo's recent mare for this year's breeding try. And this vlog is going to be kind of all over the place because I'm going to touch base on where we're at with her, introducing our recip, who we're actually breeding to this year, and everything like that. So we're still working on getting everything situated. But today we're going down to Virginia to go get our recent mare, who I'm very thankful this year is able to find one that is actually owned by a fellow barrel racer friend of mine in Virginia. And this mare has had three babies already and she was actually a recip for her big mare last year so she had a great foaling last year um super healthy foal really easy going mare and so she had hit me up when I was looking for one saying that she had one that I could use um so we we're heading down today and so um Boo's side of things she's already come to season as out of her transitional heat um I don't know where she's at this mare um so we'll kind of see I'm assuming if she has already been, she's probably already been in heat since most horses are coming in now, but we'll probably know more when we get her home because um, a lot of times when they come home and all the horse changes, they usually kind of get reduced into another one. But um, we'll get her home, get her situated. I'm probably going to give her at least a week or so to settle in before we start trying to sink her and boo up. That also gives her time to come into heat if she hasn't already. But we will see how everything goes and I'm excited to meet her. I don't even know her name yet or what she looks like. So you guys will be seeing everything as I'm meeting her as well. But we'll get her all situated at home. And then we will see what happens with her and Boo. And I'll fill you guys in exactly on this year's stud soon.
filming this in the car because honestly, these last couple weeks have been a whirlwind. It's been super crazy. I've been trying to sit down and do this, but honestly, the best time I have to vlog lately is while driving to work. So I figured I'd try to get this done because we are hoping to start this process, hopefully by the end of this week, probably by the time I post this. So this guy here, Bar Frenchman, is who we are breeding boo to this year. Now, last we bred to another um, more local junior stallion that had won a breeding on, and we had no luck. We tried twice, um, kind of running late in the season. I was running out of funds, and we decided to call it quits. And we don't know why. So, like, and what I'm kind of learning is that this breeding game is absolutely crazy. I guess it's more common than not not to get it on the first couple tries. And being a vet tech all my life, I have worked with breeding, but more so on the falling out. And I've assisted with breedings, but I never really knew, I guess, really how hard it is. And again, that's why I have this vlog because I'm very transparent in that. Some people have done this their whole lives. They're like, well, duh, you can't expect that. I didn't know that. So it's been a learning curve. But, like, I didn't have the money to keep shelling out and hoping to get a baby from the stallion. And um, then he got sold. And the reason I liked him, he was close so I could pick up his semen like I did the first time. Um, now he's further, so I have to pay for it to get shipped anyway. So I was like, well, if I have to pay for him to get shipped, might as well look wherever I want. Super long story short, I um, looked for different stallions for this year to try. And there are so many out there. I have put a thing out there with my criteria of what type of stallion I wanted for Boo. And I had, I think, about 70 stallions um, to go through. It was a lot. And took a couple weeks. I finally narrowed it down to just two. And Bar Frenchman is the one I decided to go with. Now, Bar Frenchman is an own son of Frenchman's guy. And he is a grandson of Biancus. Um, his mom was Katie Bar Biancus. And the Biancus line, which I had never really heard of until, coincidentally, the last two stallions I narrowed it down to was um, Bar Frenchman and this other one in Texas. They both had Biancus on their mom's bloodlines. Um, they were both grandsons of Biancus. Now, last year's stallion was a son of Streak of Fling and a grandson to Frenchman's Guy. Both bloodlines I like. Then I, I was like looking at similar bloodlines, but I was leaving it open. I was really looking for a certain criteria of like good temperament. I wanted good confirmation, running style, a couple other things. And um, when I narrowed down to the two, they both were, the other one was a son of a streak of fling. He was a son of Frenchman's guy. They both, they're both their moms were daughters of Biancus, um, just different moms. So it's really kind of funny, but we ended up going with Bar Frenchman. So Bar Frenchman is a 19 year old um, AQHA. He is older. He has sired many babies. I think last year he had about 15 on the ground. And um, he's actually out based in California. And he actually is from originally Woodbury Performance Horses that breeds that they breed some really top athletes. And so Bar Frenchman, also known as Dodger, um, here's some pictures of him here. He's not what I was typically looking for. Um, I really didn't care about color. I would love to get a buckskin or a roan or like, of course, all the flashy colors or a palomino um, out of Boo. But my biggest thing is I wanted the temperament, running styles, et cetera, et cetera. And um, so he's a redhead. Um, so I'm really not sure what we'll get. I, again, as long as it's happy and healthy and a good horse, I don't care what color it is. It could be purple. But we'll see how it goes. And the thing I loved about him was his running style and his brains. So the owner of him has a son that handles him all the time, rides him around, and um, he just seems like a very good gentleman, which I wanted to kind of balance out Boo's fireiness. Um, Cause she can be a handful sometimes, but for the most part, she's well behaved too. But I really want something that would perform, but had a good mind. And um, the, here are some run videos of his runs. And the thing I liked about him when I was comparing the last two stallions, was I loved his turning style. He's very gritty. Um, he's a bit of a tank. He's 15'2", about the same size as Boo. Um, they are both very similar builds. Um, she is a big girl, so is he. I like his bones. And um, I want to say, now don't quote me on this, I want to believe he's actually barefoot in the most recent things I've seen, but he is still running at 19. 
which I also love. Um, I like to train and breed for longevity is my biggest goal. That's why I don't do futurities. I'm not really interested in futurities. Um, mostly because like Dodge, Dodge ran com somewhat competitively up until 24 years old. And I have just now it's retired from competition at 26. So he, um, I like to have horses that I know will last me a while and like become a partner, not, Oh, they're 13 years old and they're, they're done. So, um, I love the fact that he's 19 and still running and competitively too. And this, this video was of him running his last race recently on his 19th birthday after not running for, I think they said 10 and a half months and look how good he does. Now he didn't take him a check or anything, but it doesn't matter. He is a one D horse. Um, and he has sired a lot of nice horses and he crosses good with some, um, cow horses like Boo is. So that's the other thing. Like the one thing I love about Boo's breeding is that I can really pick any barrel stallion and I'm pretty safe. Um, but like her bloodlines are like really old time cowy. She's two eyed Jack on both sides. And, um, so she really, all these more modern barrel horse bloodlines don't have things like that. I'm um, sure some of the other stallions do, but for the most part, a lot of them are mostly running bred. And that's why I really wanted to cross her with a running bred stallion. And, um, so we, ha yeah, we end up choosing Bar Frenchman and I'm hoping to have a really nice cross out of this. I am kind of excited for this cross. Like I said, I really like his style. I like his temperament. And I think they could have a really wicked baby together. Um, so we will see. So uh, here's what it's been going on. Um, it's been a lot and we are hoping to get started soon. And, but that is really a lot of the background of who Bar Frenchman is and why he's important this year. Now I have a recep I picked up for Boo that I am very blessed to have from a friend that she has had three foals, um, like two of her own and what she was actually a recip for her own barrel mare before. And this horse also was a barrel horse in her younger days. And, um, she graciously is letting me have her on a free lease to use for booze recip because that was my other stressor that last year I was using, um, my vet practice I worked at and that has since downsized and I didn't have a recip and, um, Super long story short, I lost my job there because vets had left and it was a whole thing. So this year I'd already spent all this money on these stud fees and everything. I was like, how am I going to make this happen? I don't have a recent mare trying to figure out the breeding, but I finally have all my ducks in a row and this is what our plan is going to be, which I'm super excited. So Flirt came home with us uh, about a week or so ago and our next step was, okay, I was looking for embryo transfer facilities. Last year we used SBS, which they were fine. Um, they're just far away. And when I was talking to my friend that owns Flirt, she said she used this other hospital in Virginia that actually is closer to me. And better yet, they have worked with Flirt before. So I liked that they know my recip. They have worked on her. Um, and they're actually closer and it's a much nicer drive, especially by myself. Cause most of the time I'm doing these hauls by myself. So, um, I've reached out to them and we are going to use them this year and see how that goes. And, um, that will be happening much after when boo is bred. As again, we're doing the same thing we did last year of the embryo transfer is the goal. Um, then I had a fair who was going to breed her and, Fortunately enough, my new job as a cult starter at this one barn, they do their own warm blood breeding and they do everything themselves. My coworkers and everything, my boss and everything, they are going to breed boo for me and track her and do all this stuff for her. So it's nice because I already go to work every day and I can just bring her there with me as well as, as flirt. So we will be going there to get our reproductive evals and tracking her doing all that. Then we're going to go to this other farm in Virginia to do our embryo transfer and hopefully get a baby out of her. But we are hoping to start that this Friday, I believe. Um, I have to confirm today we have to get the girls synced up and it's a little bit later in the season than we did start last year because I want to make sure Flirt was through her transitional heat. I know Boo came through hers. Um, again, I, this is Flirt's second week with us and, um, I really want to make sure she came through it, which she did. Um, 
Dodge is great about teasing. And she came into her cycle. We know that is done now. So now with, we are going to do the peony therapy like we did last year. Um, the only difference is that last year I did shots every single day. This year I'm doing a bio-release formula, which will be nicer to the mares that I only have to give them one shot that is slowly released over 10 days. Um, and then similar hormones as the other ones. The only thing is with this, you have to track it a little bit closer um, because it's more of a release. But that shouldn't be a problem. So we'll see how this all goes. But um, that's where we're at right now with all this. So it's going to start getting going. And um, fingers crossed we actually have some success this year. I am not getting my hopes up these first couple tries. Now that I've been through this before, I'm just really hoping that we can get a baby out of boo. And um, everything can work out. So keep your fingers crossed. So today is April 19th and we are officially starting the peony therapy with the girls to get them synced up. So first off is flirt. This is a little different than what I did last year. Whoever watched that this is a slow release formula. So last year I had to give two shots every single day. This is a one shot deal that is slowly released over the 10 days. Um, I do have to monitor a little bit closer, but at least it saves them from getting stabbed all the time. So flirt's finishing her breakfast and she's gonna get a little drugs. <laughs> 